Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today another couponing haul for you guys. It has been two weeks since I posted a couponing haul. So I'm really excited to be back. I've just been super busy. I went on vacation and then I was away again for another like four to five days. So I haven't been home in a while and I'm just excited to jump right back in it. So let's get started with Rite Aid. Okay, so Rite Aid I had about $50, a little over $50 that was expiring yesterday. If you don't know my routine, I go to Rite Aid Sunday mornings and then CVS I go Monday morning. So that's why I don't do my hauls until Monday. Okay, so Sunday um, I had expiring a little over $50 and I was like, oh my god, how am I going to roll it? Honestly, this is like the worst week to roll. I basically got back half of what I spent, so I guess it's not too bad, but I guess it could have been worse. Okay, and I still want to do the Wet n Wild deal. I don't know if I'll do a full video on it. I might just post a picture on Instagram, so... Um, probably go back to ready tomorrow to do the, um, went wild deal. Okay, do the Lysol deal. I figured, you know, it's not the worst deal to roll. I'm not that I need Lysol, but oh well. I did want to get eight of the Lysol wipes because that's stuff that we use every single day. So I figured that, you know, it's not a total waste, even though we do use a toilet bowl cleaner, but I don't need any toilet bowl cleaner. Not that I need any of this, but whatever. Anywho, I got it so I can roll. There really wasn't much, to, you know, deals to try to roll slash things that I needed or wanted. So I figured the Lysol deal would be the best thing, at least for me. So, um, since I wanted eight of the wipes, they only had three left. So I just mixed and matched with other stuff, as you can tell. So anyway, um, they're two for five. So I got eight for 20. And you need to spend 20 and get back seven. Now, I didn't get a $7 plus up. I saw other people getting the toilet bowl cleaners and the sprays, and they got their plus up back. So I'm assuming the wipes did not count. Only twelve fifty counted, so that would the twelve fifty would include the spray and the toilet bowl cleaner and not the wipes. So I'm assuming it's the wipes. But if you got wipes and you got your seven dollar plus up, let me know below. But I will be calling right aid today or tomorrow, and they're both thirty five. All three of them are the thirty five count. And they were tagged for two for five. And they did bring up two for five. And they were also tagged for the spend 20 get back seven. So no clue there. But we're just going to pretend I got the $7 plus up. But if I call and I have an issue and I never get my $7 plus up, this will be going back to the store. At least some of them. Okay. So um, I also used four of the dollar off of two video value coupons. And I used three 50 cent off of two coupons. I used one for the two wipes and then two for the... Um, Toilet bowl cleaners kind of stinks. I wish they had another wipe so I could have used another 50 cents off of two, but that's okay. So it was $14.50 out of pocket. Get back, hopefully, a $7 plus up. It'd be $7.50 for eight, which makes them 93 cents each. That's not bad at all, especially if you really need them. I think a dollar for them is great, okay? All right, so I got the taco shells. These are two for five. On each box, there was a 50 cent freshness sticker on them. Um, because they do expire on September 20th, 2013, so basically a little less than a month. And, uh, so they're two for five, minus the dollar, um, two freshness stickers that were 50 cents. Paid for, got back a dollar, makes them two for three dollars. Dollar fifty each is the cheapest I've ever gotten them. My stock up price for these is two dollars. We do eat tacos, not on a regular basis, but we do eat them, so might as well get them at Ready to CVS when I do get them cheap, so I don't have to pay cash at the grocery store. We did a physician's formula deal. After I did this, I don't think I did it correctly. I uh, didn't really think about it until after I did it. And so I'm sure you guys will probably tell me in the comments, but please be nice. So I did do the physician's formula deal. And the eye extravaganza. These are buy one, get one free this week. And the eye extravaganza is spent 30, get back 10. Now, I only had two of the peelies. I had one for the eyeliner and one for the shimmer strips. Um, I, if I went to this other right here, they actually had more of the peely, the $2 peelies, but that's okay. I also used five $2 Rite Aid Facebook coupons. I used um, one for one for the mascara and then one for each of these. And I didn't use one for the one mascara, so I'll tell you in a second. So I used um, five of the $2 Rite Aid coupons. And then I used a buy one, get one free mascara coupon. I'm not sure if I was allowed to do that or not. I think I wasn't. <laughs> um, after I thought about it, I think in their policy it says you cannot use a buy one, get one free coupon. If it's on sale for buy one, get one free, so I do apologize. I didn't really think about it. Um, I did my, I did these deals Sunday morning. I didn't go to um, Rite Aid until 1 p.m. on Sunday, which is super late because, again, I haven't been home. I haven't been able to coupon, so I really didn't even think about it as I was figuring these deals out. So I do apologize. I did it wrong, but I'm being honest. So anyway, um, after all the math, it was $9.90 out of pocket and get back 10 so it was a $0.10 cent money maker. If I, of course, had more peelies. 
the um, two dollar two two dollar peelies. Um, it would have been a four dollar money maker, but that's okay. Free is free, and it helped me roll my reward. So I do apologize if what that I kind of messed up there. So I'm sorry. The axe. This is a pretty good deal. Um, again, I mostly did just to roll. Plus, um, my fiance was only had a couple of these left in our stockpile, and I do like them. My favorite on him is the Dark Temptation. So, anywho, these are $5.99 normally, buy one get one half off. Spend 15 get back 5 so I bought 4 That totals is $17.96. I used $2.50 off of two manufacturer coupons. Uh, so, it's $3. Out of pocket was $14.96. Get back 5 nine ninety six for 4 or $2.49 each. That's not a big deal. That really, really isn't for products that are normally $5.99. Okay, the Old Spice, I just did this again to roll some rewards and at least get something back. And plus, um, I'm going to put this in my dad's basket because he loves Old Spice. So I figured that will work for his Christmas basket. Well, not just, but you know, that'll be in there. Okay, they are two for eight. So this totals the $12. Now, I had to buy two deodorants to get the body spray free. And the max value was $3.99, which I was fine with. But, as he's putting it in and trying to put it in, he's like, you know what, I'm going to give you $5.49 off, which is the regular price of them. He didn't even give me the sale price off. He gave me the $5.49 off, which was awesome. So, thanks to him, which I thought was weird because he's kind of strict when it comes to things like that. But, I was like, whatever. Um, so, my out-of-pocket was $6.51. Get back a $2 plus sale. That's $4.51 for 3 or $1.50 each. Not bad at all to, you know, put in my dad's Christmas basket. So, that's really great. So that is it for Ready, but I do want to go back to Ready tomorrow to do some Wet and Wild deals. So, um, Wet and Wild deals, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but I'll probably just take a picture and post that on uh, Instagram, and it's pretty self-explanatory. So, okay. So for CVS, I redeemed four rain checks. Um, I did double dip on the toilet paper, which I'll get there in a second, but... Um, these are some really fantastic deals. So the cotton balls, we all know these are a dollar each. We have the dollar um, Redbox coupon. I only had two of them because, again, I didn't really coupon last week and I barely went in to scan my card. And plus, this is great because I paint my nails all the time. So, yay! And my toes, if you really want to know. <laughs> um, the Tide Pods, this is really good. I haven't heard anyone talk about this. These are the 14 count. I had a coupon for $2 off of any Tide Pods. Um, these are $4.99 and then you get back $2 in ECBs makes these 99 cents. So that's really great. And I like to put these in people's like gift baskets and stuff because instead of giving a big bottle of tie that's so heavy, um, this just works out better. The Charmin, this is a great deal. Two for $1.99. I had a dollar manufacturer coupon and then the dollar for red Redbox coupon makes it a 50 cent money maker. The Colgate, this is a great deal at a rain check for the $5.99 sale price. That equals to $11.98. I had dollar manufacturer coupon for each one and a $2.50 off of 12 red box mouthwash toothpaste or toothbrush coupon. Paid $7.48. I got back uh, for the rain check $3 for each one, so it's minus six ECBs and then minus five for this week's promotion, which is spend 10, get back five. That makes it a $3.52 money maker. Get those rain checks, guys. When they're out of stuff that you want or use and it's a good deal that week anyway, you know, get a rain check if they're out of your flavor or whatever, you know. Um, I got two different flavors, though, so there we go with that. Normally, when these go on sale, none of them are left. And those are the big bottles, so that's really great. And that was what my rain check was for. That deal was just maybe about a month ago, I think. So, okay, the Head & Shoulders, this is a great deal. They're two for ten, so I got four, which is four for twenty. The BOGO coupons took off a max value of $6.99, which is fantastic. That's why I love CVS. Uh, as long as they scan the coupon, it will auto-deduct, which is great. Now, if they look at it and then they write, then they look it up, then obviously they won't be auto-deducting. But as long as they scan the coupon, it will auto-deduct. Okay, so I used two BOGO coupons that took off $6.99. I also had a two off of two Redbox coupon for any shampoo or conditioner. So that was fantastic. So shame I didn't have two of them. Paid 402 out of pocket and got back five. So it was a 98 cent money maker. Great, great, and great. I love head and shoulders. So definitely wanted to do this deal. The renew. Um, I had a rain check for the sale price of $7.99. Now I looked at the rain check this morning as I was going to CVS and it said that I was supposed to get back a five dollar ECB on the rain check. Was that right? This was this was a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago, and they didn't have any left when I went to go get them. 
Um, so I don't know if that's correct, but she, she wrote five down, so I did get five dollars in ECBs back. I used a two dollar manufacturer coupon and two dollars off of an eight dollar I care purchase coupon. Paid three ninety nine, got back five. It was a dollar and one cent money maker. That's really great. The L'Oreal Lumi. This was thirteen twenty nine. I used a two dollar manufacturer coupon. I had a rain check for um, spend ten get back three dollars in ECBs. And then this week is spent 10 get back $4 in ECBs. And I also used a $4 off a 12 Redbox coupon. Only 30 cents. That is how you get cheap makeup. Um, I've really been wanting to try this. And I've also been really wanting to try the new L'Oreal foundation, which is liquid to powder. That is a matte finish. So I think I'm going to wait to try that until next summer. Since fall and winter is coming up, I want something more moisturizing and not matte. Because, you know, in the... In the winter time, I like kind of a dewy finish, so I don't look so dry. So that's why I went ahead and got this. 30 cents. Cannot beat it, guys. Can Cannot beat that. Okay, the Kleenex. I got this with the Scott deal. Since the Scott deal is spend 20, get back 5, or spend 30, get back 10, you have to hit that $30 mark. If you hit $29.99, I'm pretty sure you will not get that $10 back. So that's why I just got, I threw in the Kleenex, okay? So basically... I had a rain check for these to be $7.49 each, so that's times four, be $29.96. I used four or four dollar manufacturer coupons. $25.96 was the total. Get back 10 for this week and 10 for my rain check. That's $5.96 for four or $1.49 each. That is great, and then plus add the $1.33 for this. <laughs> but whatever. That's how I kind of get my tissues or like the Dawn soap, uh, you know, dish soap throw them in with your transaction that's how you accumulate you know a lot of tissues or don't soap you know from doing these spend 30 get 10 um back deals so anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully uh i explained it a lot better so definitely double dipping is the best part now i know a lot of people have trouble double dipping some people think it's wrong quite frankly especially with the scott in the past like months Every time I want to get the Scott Extra Soft, they never have enough for me to hit that $30 mark. As you saw in my last couponing haul, which was two weeks ago, you saw me just get one because they only had one left. I don't like the regular Scott at all. These aren't my favorite anymore like they used to be since they redid the toilet paper. They, you know, they're new texturized sheets. Um... I don't really like them, but you cannot beat a $1.50 a pack. <laughs> you really can't for eight double rolls. You really just can't beat it, so I will stick through it anyway. Um, and I've been buying Charmin a lot, too. But can't beat the deal. But I know a lot of people have trouble double dipping. My advice would be do a big transaction. I mean, this is not huge. But do it where you're going to get back, you know, other ECBs. So they'll just think it's full of those other items, basically, and they're not going to go nitpicking. And plus, for this week, um, it doesn't even say the $10. It doesn't even say what it's for. Okay, it just says select products. So you should be okay. But now if you just get the toilet paper and hope to double dip, they see that $10, they're going to assume that it you know, is obviously for the toilet paper and you probably won't be able to double dip because that's what I have learned with trial and error with trying to double dip. The more stuff you have, you know, the more likely you're going to be able to double dip and they're not going to be picky about it. Um, so yeah, and it's not just because of the, my cashier because she'll um, double check most of the time, but if you have a lot of stuff or if they're really busy, they're more likely just to, just to give you your rain check ECB back. So I know a lot of people beg to differ with the e with double dipping with ECBs, but I don't think there's anything wrong with it just because of the fact that it's very inconvenient when every time I go to CVS and they don't have enough in stock. So honestly, they're giving me an extra 10 bucks for the inconvenience. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys all later.